Hey Roadrunners, when you're ready to get into your class and attend your Zoom meeting, you need to first start in D2L and get into your course. What you want to look for is the Zoom button on the navigation bar. When you get here, you'll be able to see all of the meetings that are scheduled for the entire semester. So as you can see, I have a meeting tomorrow at 9 a.m. during the class time, and then there are virtual office hours that my instructor has set up for me if I want to attend those. When you're ready to join, you'll click Join here. Now, since this is a meeting in the future, I'll have to show you an example course. The first time you do this, your browser will automatically download the program for you to install. I recommend using the latest version of Google Chrome for your browser. If you do, you'll see the download in this location. If you're using a different browser, you'll need to figure out where it automatically downloads your file and perform these steps from there. So I'll go ahead and click on it so it opens the executable file or application file and as you can see it starts to install Zoom. Once it's done installing it'll open up a window asking you for your name. Please make sure to enter your name as it would appear to your instructor in D2L so they can easily identify you. It should be noted that this part of the tutorial is on a PC. If you're on a Mac, it will download to the same location, but may or may not ask you a few more questions. Just go through the guided installation and you should be good to go. Once you open up Zoom, it pretty much looks and acts the same for both PC and Mac users, with just a little bit of styling differences. Let's switch to the Mac and see what it looks like that way. Remember from this point, it should just look a little bit different with the style, but the interface should work pretty much the same. Okay, so once you have the Zoom application installed, the next time you try to get into a Zoom meeting, it's going to open up this dialog and ask you if you always want to open Zoom US to open links of this type in the associated app. So if you just want to skip this question every single time and have it automatically open up in the Zoom application, then you can check this box here, which is what I'm going to do. So I'll click open zoom.us and we'll join the meeting in progress. Okay, so as you can see, it's showing me my video preview. This shows me what my webcam looks like, and I can choose to either join without video or join with video. And then you can always, uh, you can choose to have this preview dialog box, or if you don't want to see that, you can uncheck that. So I'm going to go ahead and join with video because your instructors will prefer that you actually um, show your video so they can see you in person for attendance purposes and for discussion purposes. So let's click join with video. Okay, so as it opens, you're going to see um, that before it actually makes you live in the class, it's going to ask you to set up your speaker and microphone. This is really important. This is usually where students have issues because they have the wrong speaker or microphone set up. So let's go ahead and talk about a couple of these. First of all, we want you to mostly always use computer audio and use a phone call as your last resort, like nothing's working. And sometimes the phone call won't even be an option, so let's just go through the computer audio. You can choose to join with computer audio now if you're used to using Zoom and you've set this up before, or you can choose test speaker and microphone. I highly recommend that you choose test speaker and microphone every single time you're in Zoom, um, unless you're pretty sure that, that you've got this. All right. Um, you can also choose to add, automatically join audio by computer when joining a meeting. I never check that because I want to be able to control when people can hear me and when they can't, but that's an option for you. So I'll click test speaker and microphone, and it's going to have it's going to have a ringtone. And if I can hear it, then I say yes, and if I can't, I say no. So the reason why I can't hear it right now is because speaker one, it's asking me what speaker do I want to use. So I could use the speaker that's built into my computer, or I can use headphones if I plug them into my computer. So look, let's click on same as system. This is just trying to have the same speakers as my system settings, but right now I actually want to use the speakers on my Mac computer. I can also choose to listen through my stereo microphone, but that's not a good option for me. So I'm going to choose iMac Pro speakers. So yours won't say iMac if you're not using an iMac. It'll say something like system speakers. So go ahead and click that. And if you can hear that ringtone, click yes. Now it's going to ask you to speak and then pause and hear if you have a replay. And if you do, say yes. And if you don't, say no. Now I can tell my microphone is working because I can see the input levels moving here. 
If it's not, we're gonna go to this setup option for your microphone and choose your microphone. This is again where most people have issues is that they have the wrong thing selected. So as you can see, I have a Yeti stereo microphone. This is a plug and play microphone that I have. And then I also have a microphone that's built into my computer. So I need to choose which one I want this to use. So for this, I do wanna use this Yeti stereo microphone, but just so you know, you might need to go into your computer system sound settings to make sure that it actively sees your plug and play microphone or that it's using the right microphone. Okay, so let's go ahead and test this out. And I'm just gonna say something simple like, hello. 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 And because I could hear it, I'm gonna go ahead and click yes. So once you've chosen your speaker, and your microphone and you've tested them out, now we can get into the class by clicking join with computer audio. When you do that, it comes back to this main screen where we can click join with computer audio. So now that I'm in my class and I can see myself and a classmate and the uh, classroom, I can go ahead and choose to mute and I wanna do this before I do anything else. I'm gonna click mute and what that does is it mutes me and it tells me that you can have a shortcut to unmute me or that you are muted and you can tell because it has this little cross through. If you wish to stop your video, you can also choose to stop video here. But again, your instructor will usually require that you have your video going. Watch part two of this video to learn more about the Zoom interface and how to share your screen, chat, ask questions, change your view options here, and more.